A lot of things have been said lately regarding the fate of Top Thrill Dragster. What's currently going on with the large crane that was on site, and who's going to be manufacturing the track pieces and potential pieces spotted overseas with many speculation videos about the current state of Dragster's reimagining. Welcome back to Ghoster Coasters, everybody. We've been having an amazing time this year keeping up with Dragster updates. So make sure you subscribe now and tune in for any and all on the ground breaking updates in new progress each and every week. We've had a blast talking Dragster and predicting what would happen with it, starting back to last year. So to recap, We've been on Team Intamin from the get-go and believed a spike was coming. But what if we told you we had solid concrete information about the construction progress and future progress that's to come? Ooh, stay tuned. Now, this is one of those you'll have to come back and check the receipts later on videos. But we do have an inside source of information being funneled and we would love to share what this means for everyone in a way that doesn't really spoil anything for anyone involved. So. Let's get into this. We saw the Liebhar LTM 1300-6.2 as confirmed by a company team member and founded by the many sleuths on Twitter pretty early on. So yes, guys, that is officially the crane that was on site. Moving on, we see in Lake Erie Lifestyles update that there is a manned basket near the top hat. Many have speculated what this could mean. Prepping the structure for future paint jobs, inspecting the structure and weld integrity for future use could be the beginning of track work and i also heard a funny one online that they were just changing the light bulb up there so continue to speculate how you guys please now as confirmed from the lake erie lifestyles video and from the inside source they were just sending a manned basket up to inspect the structure and check the integrity of the welds and so forth but here's the real shocking news. The same person has also said that they are hearing of a height extension at the peak of the top hat. Now, I questioned that further because I had huge disbelief when I heard that. And I asked directly, do you mean the spike structure being taller than the top hat? Or do you mean the actual top hat itself? And he responded directly with, no, I mean the peak of the current structure's top hat. And I have heard that they are aiming for the height record again. No heights have been revealed to any of the workers inspecting, but the word is going around that that is the plan. So, that's just some real shocking news anyways. I, right? I don't, you know, again. I floored. Yeah, but he's been right about a bunch of other stuff so far. The construction schedule and everything else. So, that is the little inside information we have right now. Color me completely shocked if so. But I remain highly skeptical of this breaking bit of insider speculation. True. I have to question the footers being poured 20 years ago and what max weights for such a structure could be. Would they add bracing to the mega structure in order to allow for an increase in height? How would any of that work? I'm not an engineer or an architect, <laughs> so we really don't know much on this. That is true. This bit of information also ties into the fact that the same person said they are planning to move the launch back further for momentum, which is further supported by the current new construction on the footers and two that form a rectangle lining directly up with the three behind it and the current launch of Dragster, which also likely nullifies a long running theory that they would be reversing the sides in which you launched on, which to be honest is good. The launch being near the midway is iconic and needed to stay regardless of what iteration comes next. Now for the future of this construction, no track work is going to take place yet, but this is what will happen when it does. And you guys can come back to this video and quote it. A pair of cranes will be brought on site after the analysis of the ride's integrity and superstructure. And then is when we can expect to see work on the track. Beforehand, we will not. And this is another receipt to check later, like I said. I was informed by the inside source that said the crane can likely be expected in the coming months depending on analysis, but more than likely we see this top hat start changing in the near future. My guess was somewhere around Halloween weekends during the time when park operations slowed down a bit, and he did conclude that this could happen. So. Time will tell on this, but no track work for now, guys. When a second crane appears or two cranes appear on site, that is when we can expect track work and we can all get top thrilled about it all. So stay tuned for that. And an interesting tidbit pointed out is that they are starting to tear some of the bleachers down there, it looks like so. 
Now, we see current progress being made on the infield of Dragster. It is all but cleared out behind the original launch and station area, clearly showing the rectangle footers lining up with the launch and the triangle footers behind it for the rumored spike. Also seems to be some rocks pushed off to the side of the pond, cooling in the middle of Dragster's former queue and launch areas. Not much else has gone on since the inspection of the top hat, and truthfully, I think we'll start seeing teasers before we see any more progress on site other than the infield. Now, we got a little bit curious to see what was going on over at the Dragster offsite storage area, and to our surprise, we found that sections of Dragster still remain. So the long running theory that all of the track got shipped off for retrofeeding seems, well, 50-50 at this point. We don't know where the track that left went, and it appears to be the switch track remaining in some sections of straight track, and maybe a piece of the launch, I don't really know. The rest of the brake run track appears to be gone. What could be retrofitted for what purpose? We aren't really sure, but it seems kind of interesting right now. But what's in this parking lot over here? 16 large containers, the same size as the ones we saw carrying off pieces of Dragster track last fall during the final weeks of Hollow Weekends. What is in these containers? Well, let's try to track and see where they came from first. 